What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today it is Fish Friday. Currently there is an offer, now I don't know if it's online, I've had this before, I do not know if it was online only or if it's in store as well but I did buy it online and it is this gastro restaurant quality fish. This one is a tempura battered fish and you get two in there and it's two pounds, so one pound a fillet, and it's supposed to be really good. A gastro restaurant quality. So let's uh, see if we can cook it in this nice air fryer to make it restaurant quality. I have bought some chips as well. These chips, I've never had them before. They are one pound straight cut chips. And the reason I bought these is because they do have an air fryer instruction on them, as a lot of Iceland products are now. So this bag of chips were a quid. What is it? 900 grams, not too bad. They look all right, they look decent. Buy them in an air fryer and see how they go. Lots of fish and chips. I've got some mushy peas. I've got some garden peas. Do I have mushy peas? Hmm. I think I've got some mushy peas somewhere. So, let's take a look at the main event, which is this fish. So remember, two pounds from Iceland currently. Normal price, four pound for two fish fillets four pound half price at the moment this i don't know if it's just for january or what but i am uh, i have got the rotisserie chicken video ready to go but I've, because of this offer i'm i'm putting i'm jumping in front and pushing in the queue with this video so here it is now we have been to london i know you've, you've heard it in a few videos i tried to edit out as much as i could because it was an absolute disaster the weather was dreadful I mean, the trip overall was a success because the girls had a great time in there at the concert. Um, they went to see a concert, a band called Chase Atlantic. I've never heard of them. So they went there. I just sat in a pub and watched the uh, Oxford Arsenal FA Cup game while they was there. And um, it, 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 it was fine. I only got one food review out of it. And so I've got a fish and chip video from London coming up soon. But I don't know. I'm probably just going to go back again myself on my own and get some proper food reviews in. It got dark so early, the rain was miserable, it were a bit, it were a bit, for me anyway. I was just like an escort basically. So anyway, enough of that. Back to this one anyway. Got some fish and chips at home. Gastro restaurant quality fish. Right, let's take a look at this box. So here is the box. Oh, it's by Young's Gastro. Tempura battered light and crispy fish fillets. I'm not 100% sure what tempura battered means and what, what's different about it from a different sort of uh, normal batter, but I think it's just lighter, maybe better for you. I'm not sure. 100% fillet, fillet, fish for life, responsibly sourced, and that is a traffic light system. Not too bad, 261 calories per fish fillet. Obviously, you've got to add your chips and peas there. Um, yeah, not too bad. They say serve with garden peas and skinny fries. I won't be doing that. It's a mushy peas house, this. So it says, restaurant quality fish. Our gastro range is the best way to create your own restaurant experience at home. Try serving these light and crispy fish fillets with skinny fries and homemade tartar sauce. Enjoy with a well-chilled IPA beer. <laughs> That is a nutritional information in full for you guys that know what I'm talking about there. I, of course, do not. 16.2 grams of protein. It's not bad. Ingredients there. So it is Alaska Pollock. So restaurant quality. Is it if it's not had a core? Cod. They're charging £4 for this at full price, remember. So it is Alaska Pollock 58% fish. You've got wheat, fish, mustard as the allergens. So that's a bit disappointing. I was expecting it to be haddock or cod. So the cooking guidelines, 21 minutes to oven bake, 220 or 200 degrees fan, which is obviously what the air fryer is. So best from frozen, that's what this is. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at these. I'm gonna get into that. Let me just double check what this these chips say. So we have got these straight cut chips, these are just like Iceland's own brand, a quid, now even crispier apparently. They say air fry for 14 to 15 minutes on 200. 
So pretty similar. That one's 21 minutes. This one's 14 to 15 minutes. So I reckon we'll put them both in at the same time and go with um, go with a 15 minute cook and put the fish on the higher shelf than the chips. Let's have a look at it then. So very thin, very skinny. I was just going to have one, but I might have two because these are uh, very small to be fair. That is not a big fish fillet. I'll just have one, I won't be greedy. <laughs> right then, let's get it in this air fryer. So I'm actually going to put them on the same shelf because I do think that the left hand side cook quicker than the right hand side. So, and I don't need to use a separate tray then do I? I think that's probably enough. So there we go. We're going to get that in there on the middle shelf. Fish and chips in the old air fryer. Let's go. We've got 195 for 16 minutes. Let's go. Don't forget the hack where you, uh, you you can cut your bag down the middle like that so you can pass it up. No loose chips in the bottom of the freezer. Stick with you, know you'll go far. Right, I'll see you in 16 minutes. So the reason I was on Iceland website is because, and that's where I found this uh, this fish that's in, in the air fryer right now is because I wanted to get the um, 45 pound bundle for my protein. That's a new brand on the Iceland platform and it's like a health food, high protein, low fat um, sort of health food. Now, they're all ready meals and things like that so I don't know how good they are. Obviously, real cooking itself, making things yourself is always gonna be better if you cook it healthily. However, for quick and ease, I, I am such a busy person, this channel, job, work, all that sort of thing, family. I'm, I'm, I'm constant, I'm non-stop. So, ready meals are kinda, or would you say it's meal prep? Some, some, there is a lot of meal prep companies out there, and let's just say this for instance, actually, this is one of the products here, pulled pork mac and cheese, I've just pulled one out. Actually comes in at like a my protein. Now you would call that, if you made that at home, you would call it meal prep, so, I don't know if the salt is going to be out off the charts or whatnot, but what I'm going to do is I have got nine products there. I did the 45 pound bundle is you can choose 10 main meals like lasagnas, chicken tikka. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot lots. 10 main meals, and then you get a, a, a chicken a skewer, a chicken skewer as well for 45 pounds, which I think is really good. Um, now. On the website, I thought, hmm, might be a bit iffy, but looking at some of the size of these meals, they are cracking. Um, I'm gonna show you a few now. So, but obviously stock is an issue because I'm, I'm probably a couple of weeks too late to come out a couple of weeks ago. So on mine, on, available to me, there was a few out of stock. One of them, which was a breakfast wrap, which I really wanted, um, but that was out of stock, so I couldn't get that. And then when I actually ordered it, two, um, two were out of stock from me ordering it last night for it to get it delivered this morning. So they didn't exchange it, they just refunded. So I've, I've ended up with nine. So I'm gonna do next, when is it, Monday? You're gonna see it Tuesday, probably. I'm gonna do all these reviews in a row. I'm gonna do a My Protein. I'm gonna create a My Protein playlist and all that. And uh, do all these reviews in a row. And also, something special at the end. So you gotta keep your eye out for that. I'm gonna review all these I'm going to review all these products, so these are what's coming in the, in the next few, I've got the, what we're coming to on Monday, these will be starting on Monday. So we've got the seasoned chicken skewers, we've got beef lasagna, chicken tikka with rice, beef pasta bolognese, katsu chicken, pulled pork mac and cheese. 
piri piri chicken. Now these bowls are massive. Look at that. That is a huge bowl. Piri piri chicken with rice. Meat feast pasta. Same again, massive bowl. And Singapore style noodles. So they're going to be the nine food reviews for the next nine days. On Starting on Monday, we're going to hit this my protein for nine days in a row. And then on the 10th day, I've got a surprise. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, fish and chip time. I've babbled enough. I apologize. But yeah, that's what's coming next week. And then after all this my protein stuff, it's the first budget week of 2023. So if you don't want to miss it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, hit the notify bell. And uh, if you like this sort of video, give it a like while you're there. I appreciate it much. So that is 16 minutes. Now, the fish looks pretty much done. However, the chips look a bit dry. Now, I don't know if they're done or, hmm, I don't know. What I'm gonna do is, because it cooks a bit harder on the left-hand side, I'm gonna switch it round. I did get a tip in the comments to say, just turn it around halfway. I didn't do it halfway, probably should have, but. And then I'm just gonna put it in for a further. It just looks a bit wet on the bottom of the fish still, so put it in for a further three minutes. Let's go three minutes. Still on the middle shelf. We'll do three more minutes. I'm gonna go up to 200 this time. Peas are in the microwave now, mushy peas. I did have some mushy peas. So they're just nice and saved with mushy peas, nothing special. It's all about the fish really, isn't it? I have made a nice cup of tea. Ooh, that's warm. Be back in three minutes when it's all ready. Don't worry, I've not forgot the tip for the mushy peas. Put vinegar in while they're cooking. So I've put a bit of vinegar in here before they uh, go in for the final minute. That is a right life hack. Beautiful. I advise you to do that. Put vinegar in your mushy peas while they're cooking. Wah. That means it is ready. And if I'm honest, it looks ready now. So let's get down here and get it plated up. Air fried fish and chips. There we go. They don't look too bad. So let's get them on a plate and have a taste. No soggy bottom on that fish, which is good. Sometimes when you cook them on a normal baking tray, the bottom's not crispy. Well, this, it is crispy, isn't it? That? So that's going to be a nice fish, that. Get these vinegar mushy peas out now. There we go. Look at that. Is it restaurant quality though? <clears throat> That's the question. Let's get salt and vinegar on the uh, on the meal. Vinegar on first, so you don't wash your salt away. I made a big error. <clears throat> I've got no bread, so uh, the missus is on. Bit big in buying bread on the way home from work, and I've made this before she's home, so there's gonna be no bread and butter with it. So it's just as it is with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Look how milky that is! 
You're gonna go wild for that, aren't you? Mm. Right, let's have a taste then. So all that matters is how it tastes. Now I'm gonna go straight in for these chips. Now I'm not gonna lie, they look a bit yellower than usual. However, they are gonna be cooked and uh, let's not judge a chip by its cover. <laughs> so they're only a pound, remember, for 900 grams from Iceland. You know what? They're good, solid chips. Crispy on the outside, nice and fluffy on the inside. No empty, uh, no empty pillar cases here. Plenty of potato in that. Not bad. Quick and easy. Actually, quite nice. They're not. They taste like homemade chips, but without the that oil aftertaste. I'm quite impressed with them. Not bad for a quid. They also do them in crinkle cut, if you want to be a bit funky. Right, obviously the mushy peas are just um, Morrison Savers mushy peas, I've had these before, but you add that vinegar and you add that little that little zing, that little pizzazz. Mmm, really nice. Right, I'm going to break this fish. <clears throat> Let's do it on camera. I'm just going to break it in half. There we go. Now, looking in there, it looks like it's not as full as you'd like, really. Look at that. This is a very, I'm not very impressed with this, to be honest. I'm going to open it up. Hmm, what do you think? Doesn't look too bad. The batter looks like it's re really nice, but the actual fish, it is that um, Alaska Pollock, isn't it? So it's not, it's not, it doesn't look great. It's a cheap fish. This is, this is the, uh, this is the Pollock, this is the fish inside it. Got to get on my head. Cats are going to have some. Tastes like a cheap fish finger. As soon as you see that Alaska Pollock, do you know what? These are four pound for two normal price. I paid two pound currently half price at Iceland. However, I would never pay four pound for that. It just tastes like a, a cheap fish finger. The tempura batter looks good. I've never had tempura batter before, but it's crispy on the outside. Looks looks decent. Yeah, the battered knife. Well, you pay for the batter. The batter is unbelievable. That tempura. Why did they not put cod or haddock in there? That tempura batter is fantastic. Oh my god, that crunch. Wow. It almost overpowers the fish, which is a good thing. This, oh, I'm torn now because that batter is fantastic. Some of the best batter, fish batter I've ever had. That's including chip chops. That is really good batter. But they ruin it with that Alaska pollock, that, that minced white fish, whatever it is. They need to be putting some really good quality cod or haddock in there and really they could they could be charging five pound for that not four six pound and they'll get away with it because that batter is really really good unbelievable mm. wow it's such a shame that the fish just tastes like cheap fish fingers whereas the batter really elevates it oh i'm so disappointed two pound i'd probably buy it again just for the batter at two pound i would not pay four pounds still though even though the batter's nice because i'd want some quality fish in there i'd pay four pound all day long if that were cod or haddock and a nice fillet of cod or haddock as well so i suppose 
Don't let me know in the comments if you've tried this, whether it would pay £4 for it or whether it were on offer. I don't know. This is uh, overall the chips. I'm, I'm decent. They're, they're, they're proper nice budget oven chips. A quid for 900 grams. Not too bad. If you can't bother peeling some potatoes and that, you can't beat them. They're solid. It's a good solid chip. Value for the chip 10 out of 10. Taste 8 out of 10. Decent chip. The fish could be a 10 out of 10. Could be an absolute, the best. Could, could have been the best fish I ever had. Unfortunately, it's gone down to a 6 out of 10 because because of the inside the fish, the actual fish. The batter's a 10 out of 10, the fish a 2 out of 10. So in the middle, we'll go 6 out of 10. Okay, that's fish and chip Friday for you. So I've got a bit, of a bit of a random one. And then on Sunday, we've got the rotisserie chicken video coming out. Sunday at 1 o'clock, so do not miss that. And, um, and then next week, starting Monday, it's my protein for nine days. And then remember, 10, 10 day special. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. Did somebody say just What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. I wouldn't buy that again.